hello everyone uh, welcome all of you and uh, now we are going to do class 11th chapter 7 part 3 so let's move on the lecture so today we are going to do the topic medieval art versus renaissance art so as we discussed this thing that uh, uh, we are going to talk about the changes in the cultural tradition in the europe so uh, art is also an integral part of culture like other things like rituals ceremonies so art is also a very important part in a culture so we know that each and every country has a different sort of art different type of uh, dances and a different type of way of uh, rep representation so same same happened with the european society so uh, the first change which they experienced that was a change in the art form so let's uh, start the topic medieval art versus renaissance art so here is the art of a middle ages you can notice that they put no perspective they had taken no pr perspective so uh, the place doesn't matter there no proportion of the diagram little kid drawing it was like a little kid drawing like a small kid draw that picture it it seems like that so another one the same medieval art many religious themes so like you can uh, notice the jesus christ here show how central religion was they also show that what kind of religion was available at that time so here you can notice that uh, that was also a, a one kind of a feature a drawback also of the medieval art that that was too religious again this was a pic this is a picture of so related with the jesus christ so also religious picture again the next one you can see in this picture the picture uh, depicted that how the condition was of the jesus christ when he was hanged on the cross Running says next to look at again this picture every day scenes more realistic so uh, in the previous videos in uh, in the previous art form in the medieval art form what they generally did they basically they depict unrealistic thing like religious mythology but in the renaissance period as people started believing in the uh, reality so they started painted the everyday scenes which was more realistic like look at this picture they related with the modern time period this one also the condition of the people that depicted through the paintings like this was a picture of a dining hall first one they represented it beautifully the lifestyle of the princess and the painting of the mona lisa so these was very famous paintings so you can notice like in how much detail they went for the paintings they study anatomy and proper human physique anatomy is a study of human physique so basically they focused on the hindi visualism they studied properly the human figure the proper anatomy and uh, uh, structure of the human physique and they started painting uh, so that the picture can be can be more realistic this was also a picture of one of the restaurant so i hope you can understand that all the pictures were really real and related to the day to day life so next is the renaissance society so uh, here is a question that what kind of uh, society in the renaissance was so first strict class society nobility most powerful but smallest group 
स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन बॉर्न नॉट मेड और अर्न सो वॉट हैपन्ड इन नोबेलिटी सो फर्स्ट देर वॉज अ क्लास ऑफ स्ट्रिक्ट क्लास ऑफ नोबेलिटी सो वॉट हैपन्ड इन द नोबेलिटी हेयर दैट द नोबेलिटी वॉज मोस्ट पावरफुल क्लास बट स्मॉलेस्ट इन नंबर सो नोबेलिटी में स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स होते थे दे वर बॉर्न इन नोबेलिटी तो दैट्स वाई दे वर नोबल्स दे वर नॉट मेड और अर्न नोबेलिटी को अर्न नहीं किया जा सकता था उसे कमाया नहीं जा सकता था नोबेलिटी में हर एक बच्चा जो था वो बाय बर्थ आता था टाउन्स पीपल सो हेयर इज़ अ सेकेंड टॉपिक टाउन्स पीपल सो वाइड रेंज ऑफ वेल्थ वॉज अवेलेबल इन द टाउन एंड फ्राम रिच टू पियर पुअर एवरी काइंड ऑफ पीपल लिव इन द टाउन प्रोवाइडेड गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस पीजेंट सो अनदर काइंड ऑफ सोसाइटी वॉज अ पीजेंट दे वर वीकेस्ट बट लार्जेस्ट ग्रुप दे वर मोर इन पॉपुलेशन मोर फ्रीडम एज सर्फ टर्म डिक्रीज सर्फ टर्म मीनिंग लाइक एट दैट टाइम पीपल यूज टू हैव सम सर्व लाइक स्लेव्स लाइक सर्वेंट्स सो एट द टाइम ऑफ द रनिंग मेनी सर्फ हैड बिकम फ्री सो मोर फ्रीडम दे गॉट एज द सर्फ टर्म decreased another thing mainly they lived in the rural areas so were least impacted by the renaissances so in rural areas there was a less uh, influence on the people so that's why uh, there was a least impacted the intellectual and the artistic renaissances so basically renaissances is related with the art so we can see a number of changes in the art so here you can see this particular painting look at the detail the artist had made in a human figure so we can notice that how deeply he studied the human physique each and every line of the features of the face like nose lips and his wrinkles everything was perfect so uh, now we are going to discuss uh, about uh, the book the divine Com comedy so uh, the divine comedy basically have uh, three parts the inferno hell purgatorio purgatory paradiso paradise all to find his great love that beast rise so the divine comedy means that uh, everybody is in the find of the true love the great love so they started meeting making paintings because they had a deep love for the art the inferno this was also a painting purgatorio inferno look at the condition of the hell they represented that hell was look light in progetto there was a purgatory that how people can be tortured how people can die paradise means paradise heaven so everyone was happy very bright so this was a scene of paradise so next development in science and philosophical and the herb contribution so now we are going to discuss that what kind of developments happened in a science and philosophy in the time of the renaissance so first and foremost the monks and clergymen they were familiar with the words of the greek and roman scholar from the middle ages but they did not left them get known to other people what they did they were aware aware of the greek and roman scholars but same time they never let the other people to learn the roman and greek art but this development happened in the later periods by 14th century many scholars started to read the translations of the greek writers like plato aristotle they were translated and preserved by the arab translators so firstly they were preserved by the arab translators some europeans read greek works in arabic translation and the greek translated arabic and persian scholars work in the european languages so some european read greek work in arabic translation so whatever the greek work they did in the arabic language they studied that work and the greek translated arabic and persian scholar they studied the european languages another thing these work basically were on, on which subjects one is natural science two is math astronomy 
medicine chemistry so basically they did work on all the four things which was totally new another development uh, is the alma guest of ptolemy that was a book written by the ptolemy was a work of 140th century on astronomy in greek language so ptolemy wrote in a, a greek language this uh, book and was later on translated into arabic so it carried in arabic alphabet al which shows the connection with the herb so how we can say that uh, this book was particular related with the herb people so we can say through the al word which had added in the al magist ibn sina second was and uh, ibn sina he was a very famous arab physician philosopher of bukhara and al razi the author of medieval encyclopedia were considered as men of knowledge in italian cities so who were the men of knowledge these two ibn sina and al razi ibn sina a physician and philosopher of bukhara al razi was author of the medieval encyclopedia next one the christian thinker adopted the method of al arab philosopher of spain ibn rashid what the christian thinker adopt the method of arab philosopher of spain which one ibn rashid so what he did he tried to resolve the tension between philosophical knowledge and religious faith whatever the tension was available at that time in the religious faith and philosophical knowledge because the church always said that they are right but there were some philosophical people like rousseau like plato aristotle they said that their their philosophical ideas are right so there was confusion there was war in between these two ideas and ibn rashid tried to convince people he tried to resolve all these tensions another thing the artist and the realism so uh, you can understand that as a humanist painter deeply worked on the detail of uh, art and detail of every object so that they can make that object to real so it was very related with the realism humanism was not only propagated through education but also by art architecture and books so we can say humanism uh they propagate not only by education by art architecture and books the artists were inspired by studying the works of the past like greek and roman scholars another thing the material remains basically including fragment of art uh, we found on the ruins of ancient rome and other deserted cities jo cities tabah ho gayi thi उनके रियूंस को स्टडी करके इनको नॉलेज मिली इटालियन स्कल्पचर्स वर इन्फ्लुएंस विद परफेक्टली प्रपोर्शन मेल एंड फीमेल फिगर डॉन टेलो इनिशिएटेड द न्यू ग्राउंड विद हिज लाइफ लाइक स्टैचूज यू मस्ट बी नो दैट इटालियन स्टैचूज एंड वाटरफॉल्स इटालियन वाटरफॉल्स स्पेशली uh was very is very famous and very costly and most of the people have antique pieces which was uh, uh in uh, i think uh, their price was in the millions and uh, they all belong to italy because till today italy is uh, specialized in such kind of sculpture which look real so they had specialty in this thing so the artist were helped by the scientist by making accurate human figure the artist went to laboratories of medical school for studying bones and structures so that they can easily learn what are the structures of the bones how the bones are made how the nerves are made how human body looks like so everything they studied with the help of the science another a professor of medicine andreas uh, vesalius at the university of padua first dissected the human body which was the beginning of modern physiology physiology means the study of human physique painters did not get any older work so they painted as realistically and their pictures had a three dimensional effect due to the use of a light effect of the color it means that uh, if you look the picture from all the three sides from the three sides then you notice that the picture uh, seems that the picture uh, the portrait looks at you so that was a three dimensional effect and they made that effect with the uses of the light colors the use of anatomy subject of human body 
geometry and the physics together with logic what is beautiful created a quality called realism introduced in italian art which continued up to the 19th century so the anatomy geometry and physics they studied all three subjects to create the beautiful to understand what is beautiful and to be more realistic architecture so here is a architectural design return to the classical style of basically rome and the greece which was previously followed public building home and villas were designed using the greek and roman architectural style so you should learn only greek and roman architecture style they use the renaissance building features columns so what are the features of the renaissance building columns like these dome like this and vaulted ceiling this is dome and this one is a vaulted ceiling bernalaschi designs the first dome building perspective becomes important in architecture they all matlab they started to taking a proper angle to make the buildings so next we are going to discuss about the filippo Brunelleschi, so which was a very famous architecture, uh, and he was born in thirteen thirty seven and died in fourteen forty six. The architecture architect of uh, who designed the spectacular Duomo of Florence. Duomo was a, a where parliament was held. Bruno Lasci, the Basilica di Santa Maria del Fiore, Florence, also called the Duomo. so he made these buildings donato bramante another saint peter's basilic in vatican city started in 1506 and completed in 1626 so almost 100 years he took look at the picture how beautiful it is so architecture rome basically became the center of renaissance art in the 1500s three masters of high renaissance leonardo da vinci leonardo da vinci michelangelo and raphael so these are the famous artist so three masters they have sculpture and architecture are included in renaissance art both drew from the greek and roman influence new artist technique Fresco watercolor on the fresh plaster. Fresco he used watercolor on fresh plaster. Law of perspective they use. Study of human anatomy. Goal imitate nature. If they properly represent the nature through their paintings. Leonardo da Vinci, ah uh, he was a master of realism and perspective. Till today he was very famous by his painting Mona Lisa. This one is a painting. Studied human anatomy. to be as accurate as possible see how beautifully he made portraits sculpture painter he was sculptor he was painter astronomer inventor a true man renaissance man meaning who was expert in a different fields so leonardo da vinci 1452 uh, was his birth date and he died in 1519 He was also known as the Renaissance man, and he was scientist, anatomist, sculptor, painter, architect, and writer. Wow, he was such a great man, such a huge talent they had. So Leonardo da Vinci, basically, he was a versatile genius who had command over botany, anatomy, mathematics, art, etc. He painted the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. so these were to his famous paintings he dreamed for ability to fly and spent so many years observing birds in flight and designed a flying machine he also designed flying machine he used to sign uh, his name leonardo da vinci meaning disciple of experiment he always loved to do experiments so this was his painting mona lisa and this was a uh, the last supper so these two paintings are very famous till in 21st century So here are anatomical drawings by Leonardo da Vinci. 
so we can notice that how deeply he observed the human body so that's why the paintings were really realistic so uh, this is a human anatomy proportions the position of the veins and the bones and the arms everything they studied so here is a picture embryo in the uterus like how the child looks when in in the mother's womb image of him sir that was the image of leonardo da vinci so he also uh, made this painting fight between a dragon and the loin man riding horse so uh, here is a uh, basically uh, in the painting the last supper a page from one of the vinci's uh, notebook he coded his work by writing backward so he write backward generally he write backward so he could read it but most other people would need a mirror to read it he was so intelligent that uh, he can write his work because that work was written in a backward writing so other people need mirror to read that language so uh, that is enough for today's lecture so we studied the leonardo da vinci and we studied the renaissance art and what was the difference between the medieval art and the renaissance art and uh, which painter and artist was famous so we discussed in this lecture i hope you got all the points thank you and have a wonderful day